good day. Welcome again that we can be on this platform to share with you. And may God bless you. I'm fascinated every time when we come to this time of Easter and think of the triumphal entry of Christ into Jerusalem. All the happenings, him walking through the streets, crowds, laying down their garments, the branches of trees for our Lord. And when you read from the book of Luke 19, verse 38, it says, Blessings on the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the higher heaven. But some of the Pharisees say, quieten these crowds. And Christ responds, says that if these people keep quiet, stones will begin to shout. And I, 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 I marvel at him as he walk and respond to them and looking at the crowds and saying that if people keep quiet, the stones will begin to shout. What amazes me is Christ realizing that there is a role that needs to be played by people, by me and you in this day that we are living in. We cannot afford to keep quiet about the Lord Jesus Christ. We cannot allow ourselves to be quietened by the situations that we go through or experience in our life. And now Christ is coming to Jerusalem and he cries over it. And the question that I pose today to you and me is, how is our spiritual Jerusalem? Is Christ crying over it? Are we ready to welcome the King of Kings as we enter into this Easter mode. And in doing that, let us, know, let us remember, it is not only about celebrating the triumphal end, but it's to celebrate and go out and open our hearts and extend God's love to those who are next to us, despite the time that we are living in in this day. So therefore, Get your spiritual Jerusalem right, our hearts. God is God of hearts. That's where he's looking at. No situation, no condition, no circumstances can change the heart. But it's the love of God only that can come in and change who we are, no matter where we come from, no matter our background. Let's get our spiritual Jerusalem right before the Lord. May the good Lord bless you.